Hello, hello. Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. I'm Julie Davison, and this is my mother, Susan LaCroix. We're so excited that you're joining us for our Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie episode today. It is Sunday, January. I've got to look at my calendar. 29th. <laughs> 29th. Oh my gosh. The I can't end believe of January. I can hardly believe that the first month of 2023 is almost over and it has been a blur. We were just talking right before we hit record about how busy it's been. Mom, how are you doing this week? I'm fine. I just, um, I, I, you know, I just feel like I, a little overwhelmed right now. I just, I have hostess club next week and my table's a hot mess and, you know, I'm looking around thinking, good thing nobody <laughs> else has been here with me. <laughs> embarrassing but I mean it'll be great um you know my I I love what I do so what can I what can I say <laughs> I think that having a mess in your craft room is pretty normal and you can leave a comment and let us know if your craft room is a mess but it is a constant state for me every time I get it cleaned up like it just looks like a tornado has gone through it again and every time like I'm working on my desk I end up just like taking the piles and they end up on the floor and so there's just like piles all over the floor and I have to strategically to strategically step and jump <laughs> like little rocks in a pond well yeah. <laughs> what you know I've got like some product that has to be put away some stamps yeah. and I have a class i just about finished with the design so i got all that designer series paper and all, mm -hmm. all that stuff all over uh, i have um some remnants from prepping for today's video right across from me and then i'm not even sure what that pile is over there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i don't know yeah well, I think we can all relay. And like I said, for me, it is just a constant, um, a constant state of my craft room. Well, and here's the other thing is that like you, we've had snow here. Oh yeah. And so what better thing to do on a snowy day? You don't want to be <laughs> on the roads. I kept hearing how icy and slippery and black ice and the whole nine yards. I was like, yeah, I was downstairs stamping. <laughs> it is perfect stamping weather. So let's switch the camera around and we'll right. we'll take a look at the, the tiny corner of your desk that you cleaned off for us today. <laughs> All right. All right. So you asked for it. You're getting it. Uh, <laughs> we asked, last week we asked, you know, what you wanted to see. Uh, I think Julie mentioned we were doing something from Celebration and, you know, it was carrots, 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 carrots. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to um, use the carrot stamp set. So I just want to pull it out so you can see where it is in the Celebration catalog on page on page five. And there's some really cute samples in here. And um, I don't know. When I first looked at it, I kind of uh, did a meh and kept going. But then I came back to it. And the first thing I thought of on that second look was bunnies. Yes. <laughs> bunnies and carrots. So for my project today, yes, I'm using the Thanks a Bunch carrot set, but I'm also using the Easter Bunny set. Oh, and I should have marked it and I didn't. So let me find it real quick. Easter Bunny. E oh, there it is. Page 52. Isn't this just adorable? It's got a punch that uh, punches out this guy, but I'm not. I'm not using the punch today. I'm using one of the other different images. But um, <laughs> and you don't. I mean, yes, it's it's Easter. They've got Easter eggs in here, and they have a happy Easter. But I don't know springtime and bunnies. We have bunnies in our backyard. Um, so I don't know. You have bunnies in your backyard, right? Oh my heavens, we do have bunnies. You know, I'm looking at this stamp set and I think that some of the font in the carrot stamp set, the thanks a bunch, I think it's the same font. I think they're meant to kind of coordinate together. I did notice that. It's pretty similar if it's not the same. Don't oh, you think? Wow. Yeah. It's, it's quite close. I don't think it's an exact... But it it certainly coordinates with it. So that's good. All right. So that's what we're doing today. 
Um, I think, Julie, you're just using carrots, the carrots, right? So thanks I for am. Yeah, I have some fun ideas um, to show you with the carrots, but I cannot wait to see what you're going to make with this Easter bunny because I love that pairing. I think it's so, so yeah. perfect. And with the carrot stamp set being free, I think it's one that maybe... Like I would not have bought this stamp set, you know, on my own. And I think maybe other people might be in that position where they've gotten all the other celebration items that they want. And maybe they're getting this stamp set, even though they're not sure what they're going to do with it. So I love that you're kind of pulling in the Easter bunny. I think it's so cute. Thanks. Okay. So uh, my card base is pumpkin pie, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. There's no fancy folds. This is just a straight up card. Um, I've got a piece of DSP and this DSP is from um, Celebration and it is um, huh. Dan Dandy Designs. Dandy Designs. There you go. So it's uh, this is more mango. So I'm using mango and pumpkin. And then I've got a little strip for the inside that's four inches by three and a quarter. And then I also on the card front will be this piece of basic white that is four inches by three and three quarters. So it's a little bit different. And actually, I should have done, oh, wait a minute. I think it goes this way. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I guess it ends up being a square. It'll work. It's just fine. And then I've got a piece for the inside, five and a quarter by four inches. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see. How do I want to get started on this? Maybe we'll do the inside and then I can just put that away or put that aside. I mean, all right. So let's start with that let me get these things out and of course all of our dimensions will be in the description at the beginning uh, or when you first log in so you can see it all all right let me grab i think am i in camera there i am yeah okay. you're perfect so uh a little piece of this dsp i'm going to put along the bottom just to kind of tie in the inside and the front and I'm just not getting that on there real well. Okay, so let me get up the inks and then some stamps. So I've got Old Olive, Mango Melody, and Pumpkin Pie. And I'm going to apologize for the stage of it, but I've got to clean this. <laughs> I, we were getting ready to film one. Oh, that's a nasty little mess. All right. So <sighs> for my inside greeting, I am putting everything is coming up here. And I want some carrots. This little okay, let's one. let's talk about this sentiment for a second because I I googled it to make sure that I was understanding it and I didn't find anything. So everything's coming up carrots. To me, that means like like you're just having success, right? Like everything's coming up good. Everything's like coming up the way it should. Is that am I That's interpreting? How I read it? That's how I read it. Okay. And if you're into diamonds, you know, carrots are. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> right, I think so you spell it's... those carrots a different way. <laughs> they do, yes, but I can dream. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to put some, a little bunches of carrots here. And I'm stamping them in. Oh, no, I'm stamping them in mango. So excuse me while I get the right hour out here. And this is a brand new mango ink pad. Oh. I think these little carrots are so darn cute. Yeah. <laughs> I love that there's different sizes in this set. So there's this little bunch of three, and then there's kind of like a single medium carrot and then a larger carrot. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can use. Oh, them. yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so the inside is done. So I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to bring out this piece and my bunny. And this is the bunny that's sitting down. All right. And I'm going to stamp him kind of to the right just because I want it a little off centered. Isn't he cute? Oh my <laughs> goodness. I love it. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to take my old olive and some grass. And we're going to just stamp some grass around him. 
And then we have these little blending brushes. So I cute. found them. I misplaced them. <laughs> um, so I actually just want a little bit. Oh, I didn't. Well, here I got a piece over here. And I'm just, I just want to add a little color to the grass. Just like that. That's it. Just a wee little bit. Um, am I done with him? No, not quite. Okay, so let me just do this little piece too. I've already got this done, but I just want to show you what I did. Um, I'm going to take some of the, this is like the medium carrot image. I don't know if you could, how well you can see it. Mm -hmm. And I found in playing with it, now on the big carrots I used, I would do the opposite, but this is the inside and it doesn't quite fit. It's kind of bigger than. Oh. Yeah, it was kind of, it's kind of weird actually. Oh, so, you know what? I think it's supposed to be for the leaf. Oh, I bet you're right, but I'm using it a different way. Right, so. <laughs> so I'm going to take that piece that's supposed to be for the leaf. I didn't even think about that. I'm I, I'm just looking at it in the stamp set up for the size and in the stamp set case, it's right next to the leaf. So there you go. So I am going to then, so this is Mango Melody. Then I'm going to take my carrot in pumpkin pie. Now it's not going to fit. So if you're wondering what the heck is she doing, I'll show you. <laughs> okay. So I'm not worried about that at all. Then I'm going to take my leaf and stamp that separately. And then I fussy cut it. Okay. So this is what the fussy cut. I like that extra detail. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you need to re-ink your pumpkin pie because that looks really light. <laughs> I do. And I, I'm going to do it when I'm done here, but I wanted the paler pumpkin to go with the mango because I'm using some mango paper. Okay, so I fussy cut that. That part's all done. So now we're going to work on our bunny. And um, I brought out gray granite and um, uh, the light pale papaya. Mm. And I'm using the pale papaya in his ears. And by his nose. And then I'm going to cover this. I know I'm going to need it again, but let me just cover my black before I stick my hand in it. And I think I'm done with this. So we'll get these out of the way. I don't need any inking accidents there. Okay. So then I took my dark gray granite, the fine tip. And um, I'm going to do his little dots on the bottom of his feet. Well, they're not dots. Those are pads. And then I'm going to just kind of go around him. I'm going to leave his belly white. And even though his face and everything comes down there, I am going to color his face. All right. And I'm going to use the light gray granite to fill them in. A little bit different. Because really, don't bunnies have white bellies? I think so. I mean, I, I think bunnies are lots of different colors. But yeah, I think of a white belly when I think of a bunny. And I don't know if I should... Well, I've already, I'm committed. It'll be all right. I could just leave it, man, no. I don't like, I don't like it without the gray. And we're gonna color his feet. All right, and so then I'm just gonna Go around. I sh I could have had this piece all done in color too, but and then I'm just coming down here, 
and fill in the rest and leave it his belly white. Cute. I know Claire would be so creative if she was doing this. Oh, she'd probably add spots or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that girl, I love her art. Okay. All right. I think that looks pretty decent. So I think I'm done with the blends. And now let's put this together. Like I said, this is a really easy, simple card. Oh, the only thing I forgot is it looks like spring. Let's get that on there. Mm. And I stamp this guy kind of off at an angle. Oh. It's done. I think that bunny gets neglected because he doesn't coordinate with the punch, but he was made to hold the carrot. <laughs> yes, he absolutely was. All right. So this is on there. So let's put our, our bunny on the front of the card. Now on my sample, I actually have a little bit of an edge from the DSP, but it, it doesn't really matter. I'll show you the original when I'm done here. Okay. I get out my bone folder. I get a good crease. We we'll put our inside in. So I was really, I you know, I was thinking about uh, my embellishments for this card. I wanted to do, you know, I have to, I have to put stuff on, right? Mm hmm. And you know what? I'll have to put the embellishments on the other one. Oh, well, that's all right. So there's our inside. Here's our outside. So now he's going to hold his little carrot right here. <laughs> so cute. Yes, oh, my gosh. Adorable. I love it. So I'm going to get out my liquid glue. I thought about popping him up, but I think, oh. Oh, holy cow. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a hot little mess. All right, let's get most of this off here. Wow, that's a really full, full one. All right. Get down by your little paw. There we go. Oh, I got glue on there. All right. Let's see if we can just get a couple drops. <laughs> All right. So what's left? Flowers. It's springtime. Oh, perfect. I was just thinking butterflies, but I like the flowers. I got the butterflies out and then decided after I put the flowers on that it was good. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to just, I'm going to do a combination. I'm using the yellow and uh, whatever color that is. <laughs> Calypso coral. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so we'll just put a few, few little guys here. My rule, well, I'm doing, not my rule of threes. This is, I'm doing five. <laughs> well, it's still an odd number. <laughs> That's all that matters. All right. So cute oh, is my card. Oh my gosh, I love it. And so one more carrot card for you. These two cards were rolling around in my head for the last several weeks. And so I wanted to do something with the big carrots. I originally thought about stamping them real close together and just doing a whole background of carrots. Mm. And I got right down to it. I didn't want that. So I just yeah. took three carrots and then love you with all the dots and open it up a bunch. Aww. So those are my two projects. And I said I would share with you this one. 
Um, see, I had kind of a little border around here, so I cut. I didn't uh, enough. Which one do you like better, Jules? I don't know. I kind of like it going all the way to the edge. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's the one I did today, so that's the one we're using. <laughs> And I that, like I like how you switched the direction on the carrot so they're not all going the same way. Yeah, thanks. And then what I forgot to get out are are my embellishments because I was going to put just some like little, not necessarily sparkles, but some kind of dot embellishment or something. So. Well, I've picked out a dot embellishment, so maybe you'll want to choose the one that I'm going to share today. Oh. Well, there you go. And I am done. So are you ready? I am. I just wanted to remind you, because I don't know if we said it, you can get this stamp set for free during celebration oh, with yeah. a $50 order until the end of February. So February 28th, 2023 is the last day to get the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. Um, the dandy designs paper that mom used, and I'm going to use it as well. This is free with a $100 order, and it's got so many great patterns and colors for spring. Um, and so it just like it just seems perfect with these pairs. I'm going to while I've got this out, I'm going to show you I did case because I always like to start with copying the catalog. Um, I cased this project here in the catalog and just cha <laughs> changed up the colors a little bit. But I know it looks so, so similar to yours, Mom. Um, you use the same DSP? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's that Andy Designs, both of them. But on today's card that I'm going to um, make for you, where did my stuff go? Hold on. I just have to reach behind me. I thought I had it on my desk. Okay. I'm using a different pattern. This is another one from the Dandy Designs. It's the one that's got the polka dots in the back. So we're starting with a pumpkin pie card base that is five and a half by eight and a half. Uh, an inside piece, four inches by five and a quarter. I'm going to bring in some vellum. This comes from the layered vellum, vellum Ooh. layer or something like that pack, but you can cut the vellum card stock as well. It's three and three quarters by five inches. And then I've got the designer papers, two inches by five and a quarter. Oh, oh dear. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, we're going to use a three inch circle die cut with stylish shapes. And this is um, um, Mango Melody. And then I have a little piece for the greeting that is one by two inches. Um, the other piece that I didn't measure for you is just a scrap piece. So we're going to start by stamping these um, these carrots. And I'm using the Mango Melody for the carrot base. And for my card, I'm going to stamp two carrots. Oh, that turned out terrible. And um, oh, no, I got it on my finger. I think we're going to be OK, though. So we got two carrots and then the detail with the pumpkin pie. So I'm using my mango for the um, for the bottom layer and the detail with the pumpkin pie. And I almost wonder if it would be easier to stamp the detail first. You can kind of see where you're going, but I'm just trying to line up the edges and I did okay. Um, next up is the greenery and I'm using both the leaf and that um, that long stem. And so I'm going to stamp, um, I have a smudge here, so I'm just going to turn it around. I'm going to stamp the leaf. And then before I re-ink, I'm going to stamp again. So I get kind of two color variations. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, and I want to do one more lighter color down here. And then I'm going to do full strength, the stem kind of in the middle. So for my card, I'm going to fussy cut those with scissors. There's no dies for this stamp set. Um, and I've done that ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me do that. <laughs> um, these, these are really easy to fussy cut. So yeah, are, I mean, it's it's kind of a pretty easy. straight shape. This one was a little more complicated with nicks and crannies, but it wasn't terrible. Um, while we're stamping, I'm going to stamp the sentiment, and I'm using the words that say, everything's coming up carrots. But I want to do this in multiple colors. So um, it is one stamp. It's not, uh, it doesn't have two stamps, but the carrots is kind of in a different font. So I'm going to just use my ink pad to strategically ink um, and I'm going to try to ink up just the, um, just the everything's coming up. 
And then I'm going to take my pumpkin pie to do the carrots. Now you can use your markers to do the same kind of thing and, and do different colors. But I find that the markers sometimes don't work as well on the photopolymer stamps. Like they just kind of pull up. So um, I found that just doing the strategic inking worked better. And um, it looks like my carrots, the, the, um, the orange didn't work all the way. So I'm just gonna get out my marker and like just add a little a little line to finish off that T. Okay. The rest of it is pretty simple because we're just doing some layering and there wasn't anything complicated about that. <laughs> um so I'm starting with the vellum piece. And you can see adhesive through vellum. So I'm going to strategically put adhesive underneath where I know I'm gonna cover it up. So I've got it on the right side and then I'm going to cover it up with the designer paper. And that's gonna go from top to bottom about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so from the side. And then next up is going to be that circle. Maybe I'm gonna come over just a little more. Uh, before I put the circle on, I'm going to add our elements to the circle and then I'll add the circle of stamp and dimensional. So I'm gonna take and cut a tiny, tiny little um, banner tip on the edge of this. I just cut up like a, I don't know, quarter inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, not very much at all and then using that trick cutting from each corner to the top of the center. So it's a very shallow um, banner, but I've got that and I'm gonna put this down with some um, just regular adhesive on the side. And then my carrots and the greenery is going to go on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm gonna do two dimensionals on each carrot and Oh. It's very loud snoring from my dogs. <laughs> um, I'm going to add these kind of so that they are um, like together at the top and then add the greenery tucked in behind it. Oh, lovely. I know, right? This is going to go on with a, um, a, a quadruple treatment of Stampin' Dimensionals. <laughs> and that's going to kind of go over the um, designer paper. So over on that side. And we got to embellish. So I'm bringing in the pastel adhesive backed sequins. We use oh, these nice. um, in another video with the country floral. Uh, but I thought the gold would be really good with the carrots. So I'm going to add some of the gold sequins. What do you think about gold? Yeah, I was just looking at my card thinking that might work. Yeah, and then I'll do one more. I was good. I should have gone over and gotten my thing of embellishments while you were working. But I was so intrigued <laughs> by how you were making this card. <laughs> That's very, uh, I like that. Thank you. I'm going to see if the inside now, I should have done it earlier, but that's okay. We're going to do a row of carrots at the bottom. And for this one, I'm using that medium sized carrot and I'm going to stamp over the edge because the front says everything's coming up carrots. I got to have some carrots. <laughs> I'm going too fast and it's not stamping all the way. And then, of course, we got to add some toppers for our carrots. I'm using Granny Apple Green, which I think is the same color in the Dandy Designs paper. But sometimes when it's stamped, it's so close to Old Olive. Yeah, it is. I thought you were using Old Olive. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, look at you. So the... the um, the front says, everything's coming up carrots. Look at you, look at you doing so well. Um, so that's gonna go on the inside. 
I think this would be such a fun card to send to somebody this spring who is oh, accomplishing wow. lots of amazing things. And for me, I'm thinking about Claire, who's graduating, and wow. just feel like this spring is just going to be filled with all kinds of fun awards and ceremonies as we celebrate her high school career. Yeah, I can't believe it. Oh, man. All right, so here are my carrot cards, and here's another one. I use the small bunch. This is a layout I just um, challenged our team to use for a creative um, layout in our team group, and um, I, I, I had some ideas. The first time I saw this stamp set, I was focused on what else could I do without carrots, <laughs> because carrots didn't really do anything for me. And so I focused on this leaf and I thought that is a cute leaf um, to use even without the carrots. And so here is a card I made. Um, and I cut this white piece actually thinking I could put it on top of a um, note card, the note cards and envelopes, but then I decided to layer it and just make a, a simple note card. So we've got this one with the um, with the leaves. And then um, there's another stamp in this set that has the dots. And I thought that could be like a fun stamp to use on its own. And so I was channeling Amy and her love for rainbows and I created this one. Um, oh. really kind of simple, but I use some of the brights. So I used, um, oh, there's my timer again. I'm sorry. Um, Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, and, um, Gorgeous Grape. Nice. I love that. And I was scrolling through Facebook, I think, and this stuck in my head. I wish I could give credit. I have no idea who I saw that did this, but they turned those carrots around and made <laughs> trees. <laughs> and I thought, I thought that was so oh, clever. My oh my goodness. And so I took, I took this little piece here, which I think is supposed to be detail on the leaf. And I turned it this way to make the grass at the bottom, oh, um, nice. at the bottom of the trees. So those are kind of like tall ornamental trees that so many things that you can do with the carrot stamp. So I've got one more card. This one is a swap card from Deb Snyder. And I just love the spotlighting that she did here. So she's got some Sahara sand cardstock for the base um, and the layer. And then using those um, timeless tags, I think that's what they're called, layered there with a uh, pumpkin pie and then a white one. And some of the new twine that's part of the um, Enjoy the Journey Sweet Adventure, whatever that one's called. Um, but I just love this. I love the layout. I love um, the way she spotlighted that and showed off those carrots. So I hope everybody at home, I hope that you've been inspired by all the card ideas that we oh. shared using this stamp set. I think it has a lot of possibilities. And if you haven't already, you can get it for free during celebration in our online stores. We'll have the shopping links um, using the stuff that we shared today in the video description for you. You Shall we turn? Me, man, you did six cards. I did two. Oh, well, these were all so simple. I literally just stamped on white cards. Like, there's no layers except <laughs> I put them on color. I mean, so, and this one was copied from the catalog. So really, I just did like uh -huh. two. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's flip the camera around and we'll show off our cards together. Oh, thanks a bunch. I love a good pun. And these carrots are a lot more fun than I thought they'd be. I thought this was going to be kind of a dud of a celebration stamp set, I will admit. <laughs> uh, but the, like now that I, I'm using it and inking it up, I am liking it so much more. And it's got a lot of sentiments in it. So I feel like yeah. you can mix and match and use those sentiments with yeah. so many different things. Yeah, I've enjoyed using it. Like I said, these two cards kind of have been rolling around in my brain for a couple of weeks. And I, and I it's like, if I don't use it, if I don't do this, I'm going <laughs> to not be able to sleep at night. So, uh, so I wanted to, I, I'm so I'm glad we chose this for this week. So thank you everybody for the great suggestion. Cause yes. I was excited to use it. They turned out great. And I love it when you have that idea that sort of sticks in there. Sometimes I sit down, I'm like, I don't know. I have no, I have no ideas. That's yeah. why I always start with casing the catalog. It sort of like gets, gets the gets ball the rolling for rolling. me. It gets me thinking. And then once I start inking things up and playing around, then usually it's easier to make more cards. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, wow. I'm, I have another busy week ahead. I know you do as well. Always. <laughs> it seems to be <laughs> the status quo, uh, but that's okay. That's all right. It keeps us out of trouble. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you everybody for tuning in today. And I hope you um, have a, a fruitful <laughs> week full of carrots coming up a veggie oh. a veggie full of no that doesn't work <laughs> yeah 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 huh. anyway thank you <laughs> have a wonderful week and until next sunday stamping with susan and julie bye <laughs> see you next time bye everybody bye mom love you bye love you too babe <laughs>